name's Stuart McCarthy. Uh, I joined the army when I was 19 years old. So I, I deployed to uh, Bougainville in Papua New Guinea in 1999. At the end of that deployment, we were involved in a uh, clinical trial that was conducted by the Army Malaria Institute. My name's Andrew George. I joined the Army in 1993. When I returned from an overseas deployment in December 2000, I quickly came down with malaria. I was treated with coliquin and primaquin. I then travelled for two months. I relapsed with malaria, came back to Australia, and to sort out my symptoms was given the experimental drug, Tafenequin. We were told a little bit about Tafenequin. We were told that it was uh, in use um, in the US military. Uh, we really weren't given any information that I can recall about the safety risks of the drug. The only information we were given was by a, you know, a senior officer from the Army Military Institute who came and essentially gave us a sales pitch about how good this drug was. In my case, I was told it was the only thing that would cure me, which was a lie. But you're getting it from a senior medical officer whilst you're in the throes of malaria you're going to take it at face value. I had no reason to not to trust, you know, a senior doctor from the Defence Force who was telling us about, about the benefits of, of taking this drug. At the end of the Tarfenequin, I started feeling anxiety to a severe level that I'd never experienced, not even on operations when I thought I was going into combat. That then in turn made me depressed or I felt a level of depression I'd never experienced where I wouldn't want to leave my apartment. My family started to distance themselves from me because I was very became very abrasive with them. I went to funerals of relatives and wouldn't feel anything. And it was a good 15-year um, period where I experienced numerous medical problems uh, that I couldn't quite put my finger on. Almost every aspect of, of my life's been affected, but in particular, my relationships with other people. The symptoms I've experienced have included, you know, depression, anxiety, um, I have a lot of memory and concentration problems. Right now I'm seeing a, um, an occupational therapist, a physiotherapist, even, even a speech therapist. They've all told me, look, you have the classic symptoms of a brain injury. It was really only about 15 years after I had been given to Fenequin that I discovered uh, some of the, the published research on the long-term health effects of this class of drug. And at that point, that's when I started to reach out and talk to other people in Australia that had been exposed to these drugs. And we started to network with other uh, veterans groups and other family groups. My story was not a unique one at all. A lot of soldiers have been affected by this drug. We need a dedicated outreach program, which needs to be funded to reach out to soldiers connect with them and get them the help they need. To reach out not only to um, the veterans themselves that have been affected, but also their families.